In this presentation, we'll be looking at the areas of linguistics. You should understand that linguistics covers five basic areas. Now, of course, these areas can be further divided into more specific areas, and there are a few peripheral areas that are not mentioned here. But basically, there are five areas, pragmatics, semantics, syntax, morphology, and phonology. Pragmatics is the study of how language is used every day. How do you lie? How do you give a lecture? How do you talk to your friend? How is that different from talking to your boss? How do you convince someone to do something? How do you be sarcastic? Semantics, on the other hand, looks at what language means. Not just what individual words means, although it does look at that, but also what do sentences mean? What does discourse mean in practice? Why is it that when I tell my friend, you're so stupid, with a laugh, that means something really different than when um, um, perhaps a mean teacher tells a kid, you're so stupid, without a laugh? How is it different? How's the meaning constructed in a different way? Syntax looks at the structure of sentences. What words go where? What words come before other words? How can they be used? Morphology looks at the individual parts of words. And remember here, by words, I also mean signs. So morphology would take a word like re-establishment and notice that the part re means something, the part establish means something, and the part meant means something. Or similarly, morphology might look at the sign I give you and notice that the direction of the sign means something as well as the hand shape. If you change the direction, the meaning can change. If you change the hand shape, the meaning can change. These are the morphemes of the language. And then finally, phonology looks at the even smaller parts of language that have no meaning on their own. That is, if you think of a word like cat, each individual sound doesn't mean anything. The C sound doesn't have meaning on its own. You have to put it with the other sounds to mean something. That's different from the re in reestablishment, because re does mean something on its own. That's why re is a morpheme that has meaning, whereas k is a phoneme that doesn't have meaning by itself. We're going to look at that in sign language, too, and see that some parts have no meaning on their own, and they're phonemes, phonological. Other parts do have meaning, and they're morphemes, they're morphological. Basically, you should just understand that the big picture is pragmatics and syntax deal with the whole of language. I'm sorry, pragmatics and semantics deal with the whole of language, while syntax deals with smaller parts, but still sentences that are put together and how they form. On the other hand, morphemes are even more specific. They're the words of the language and how the different parts of the words have meaning, whereas the phonemes are the building blocks of the language that have no meaning on their own. And the same with sign language. Pragmatics and syntax is how signs are used and how, what, how signs form meaning in big picture. Syntax look at how signs are put together to form sentences. Morphemes look at the parts of signs that have meaning. And phonemes look at the parts of signs that don't mean anything, that are the building blocks of the signs. Right now I realize that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, but don't worry, it will as we move forward.